name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate the feast of the presentation of Jesus in the temple and the purification of our blessed Mother Mary. We should know that neither Jesus nor Mary, our mother, were obliged to go to the temple and to fulfill the law with the precept of presenting the firstborn son, male uh, child, to God according to the law of Moses, because the firstborn male child was sacred to the Lord. And the mother had to go with the child to be purified after her childbirth, to be reintroduced into social life. Jesus is the Son of God, and Our Lady gave birth to Jesus without becoming impure with any, any rupture of her womb, any loss of blood. She gave birth to Jesus virginally, but both Jesus and Mary went to the temple to, of course, obey the law, to be subject humbly to that precept, but especially to signify something deeper than the observance of the law itself. In fact, in this mystery, we see the very beginning, official beginning of our redemption, the so-called dawn of the redemption. Jesus was consecrated to the Father in, uh, in, in such a way to prepare our own consecration, our own purification and redemption. Our Lady obeyed that precept and she offered up her son. We can also see in this uh, 40th day after Jesus' birth, the completion of Our Lady's uh, perpetual virginity. The completion because the mystery of Jesus' birth is entwined uh, intimately with Our Lady's perpetual virginity. It is Mary who gave birth to Jesus virginally. <clears throat> it is Mary who, through her virginity, is making clear to everyone that the Son conceived and born of her is God. So in this moment of the presentation, we have the fulfillment of that virgin, uh, the, her virginity, that virginal conception and birth, because through the perpetual virginity of Mary, Jesus, is given to us and now is presented as the Redeemer, the one ready to redeem us. The presentation is, therefore, the completion of Our Lady's virginal birth, her mystery of virginity. And that virginity is the offering of Our Lady, her offering of Christ for us. We also meditate today on the beginning of this offering of our Lord through the hands of Mary as the very uh, morning sacrifice. This is the beginning of Jesus' sacrifice, the very dawn, we said, the morning. And this is already foretelling the Vespertin, the evening sacrifice, the sacrifice of the cross, when Jesus will die for us. The temple is the preparation for the cross, the offering of Jesus for us. And both at the temple and at the cross, there is Mary, our mother, the Virgin Mary. Her perpetual virginity is that link between the temple and the cross, the initial offering of Christ 
and the completion of his offering on Calvary. Today, finally, we also meditate on the mystery of religious life. Today is indeed the feast of consecrated life. John Paul II instituted on this <coughs> beautiful feast the day of religious life. Jesus being presented to the Father is uh, beginning with his own example the very mystery of religious life, consecrated life. We pray for all religious today, especially for our brothers who have renewed their vows, for those who are going to profess their vows of consecration to God through Mary, that they may always conform their lives to Jesus through Mary, being themselves offered up to God in his, in his holy temple as hosts of immolation, of sacrifice for the redemption of mankind. If we don't have the religious life in the church, the state of perfection in which brothers and sisters strive after holiness, giving themselves up to God, we don't have that pattern of perfection necessary for everyone, <clears throat> for all Christians to become saints. So you all holy people of God pray for the consecrated life. Pray so that the consecrated life may be enriched by holy vocations. People who do, uh, who do it seriously, who are truly committed to their uh, vows, to their vocation, because on their uh, holiness and the perfection depends also the perfection of many other uh, lay people who by seeing that example may be touched and then uh, also led <coughs> themselves to holiness. We pray to our Blessed Mother, to her holy virginity, to keep the whole people of God in her maternal womb, so that everyone, according to his her own vocation and status of life, may become that host offered up to God for the salvation of mankind. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen.